Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to enter OT to attend one cesarean section. Here I will show you step by step how doctors are doing the cesarean section and what is my role. And this is my first vlog in this channel. Hope guys you will enjoy it and you will like it. And please subscribe my channel if you like the video then also share also. Guys here I have entered the OT and the next room OT is going to be start very soon and today there is a very, very special announcement here that the cesarean section is going to be happen the couple uh, are going to get one baby after long 11 years so this is going to be very special and here i am waiting for delivery of the baby as you all can see doctors are doing operation which is called cesarean section and very short time the baby will come out today i am showing you all from the direct OT and my role in a cesarean section. So in this video, at present, you can see the doctors and the sisters are doing very attentively and very carefully the operation. It's a teamwork and everyone has a role, unique role in this operation. And finally here, the baby comes out from the mother's womb, which is called uterus and umbilical cord detached. And the surgeon is going to hand over the baby to me. Now my turn and what I will do, I will show you in this video now. So sister took hand over the baby and coming towards my place where I am ready with my team and now I am going to resuscitate the baby and very special case because after 11 years the mother got this baby and might be they will be very happy after seeing this baby. So now first of all I am suctioning the mouth and the nostrils so that there should not be any liquid in the nostrils and also mouth and after that I am drying the baby with clothes because baby should not be cold and it should be very warmed. Here you can see I am cleaning the baby as well as drying also each and every part of the body. So first of all upper part of the body chest and lower part of the body whole body I will dry it and clean after that I am going to look properly whole body of the baby for any anomaly is there or what because in some cases of newborn we find some anomalies used to be there here just I have seen the anal canal was proper and the back side of the body and in the spine it is good because there is nothing it's clear and now the mouth inside the mouth is there any cleft palate or cleft lip is there no this is perfectly all right it's okay so there is something other part we have to see and everything is here in this baby is properly uh, well maintained here now i am going to cut the umbilical cord and for this i need to clip here and as you can see just from the some uh, difference of area I am going to clip this the umbilical cord uh, uh, around 2 inch, two inch after that I have clipped this and now I am going to remove this one by scissor and uh, I will cut down the remaining part of the umbilical cord and other part it will automatically fall down after 10 days so this is the scissor and I am going to cut this and here done so now a little bit I will clean and this is the meconium past the baby meconium means the stool first this is called meconium or stool just this baby also stool passed so clearly baby is okay and in this baby Abgar score is 9 by 10 so vigorous baby totally absolutely good baby healthy baby so the crying is also proper and now the weight we have seen the weight here weight is 2.550 that means 2 kilo 550 gram so this is perfectly okay and very good weight so now i am going to see one reflex here this is called moro reflex that means if i am going to pull down the head your upper extremities will be up so this is the moro reflex and sucking reflex is also there now i am wrapping the baby it is very important so this is actually a bit of small cloth uh, for this we need a very big cloth but anyway i am wrapping this and uh, see the wrapping done so baby is under very good warmer also 
so we should not get any cold for this i will show you now there is a warmer this is called radiant warmer and see this is the warmer and from there heat is coming down so baby will not get cold though if baby no not much thing having more clothes but still it will be warm so this is the uh, process of fertilization baby newborn baby so i have today shown you how we have received and what we are doing with this baby and now the baby is okay and we will hand over the baby to the we will hand over the baby to the mother and thanks for watching my videos so this is my first vlog thank you thank you all of you